Hello friends, welcome to another This Day in History, where I tell you about things that happened on This Day in History. Let's jump into it. On This Day in History, May 16, 1770, Marie Antoinette married the future King Louis XVI of France. You could say she was so in love with him that she lost her head. She lost her head. Not for real though. Like, they, they both lost their heads. And I'm not, I'm not talking figuratively, like, they literally lost their heads. Also, this day in history, May 16th, 1868, the first ballot on one of 11 articles of impeachment in the U.S. Senate against, against President Andrew Jackson failed. The first ballot of 11 articles. They, I mean, they failed right away. They didn't even get, they didn't even get to a number 11. It was just like, nah, you, you, you guys got nothing on him. And Andrew Jackson was sitting there like, Also, this day in history, May 16, 1929, the first Academy Awards were given, and the term Oscars wouldn't be used to describe the statuettes until 1931, so a couple years later. But at the time, they just gave them some fucking awards, no name. The actors were like, the actresses were like, what is, what is this? And they were just like, it's an award for being a good actor. And they were just like, uh, thanks, cool. But little did they know a couple of years later, it would be cool. Very cool. Also, this day in history, May 16th, 1946, the Irving Berlin musical, Annie Get Your Gun, opened on Broadway. And if you don't know anything about me, you should know one thing. I hate musicals, so I have no idea what the fuck this musical is about. I'm assuming it's about some girl named Annie, and they were telling her, hey, go grab a weapon. Preferably a gun. And she was like, okay. And she got that gun. She got that gun and she lived happily ever after. That was the musical. I don't know. Also, this day in history, May 16, 1975, Japanese climber Yunko Tabe, Yunko Tabe, became the first woman to summit Mount Everest. I don't know if I got her name right, but she was the first woman to summit Mount Everest. She was a badass. Meaning I should get her name right. Meaning I fail at acknowledging badassery. Damn. Oh well. Also this day in history, May 16th, 1991, Queen Elizabeth II became the first British monarch to address the United States Congress. I mean, it took him until 1991, and by this time the British monarchy was long, long... I mean, it, it didn't mean anything. By this point, she was just a figurehead. So they were just like, hey, you want to come talk, you know, in Congress? And she was like, okay, sure. But, like, you guys realize I have no power now. Like, why didn't you ask me, like, like 40 years ago? And they were just like, you're pushing it, woman. Do you want to come speak to us or not? Jesus Christ. Last but not least on this day in history, May 16th, 1997, the first Congo War began. President Mobutu Sese Seko of Zaire was expelled from the country by Lunet Kabila and his troops, ending 32 years of autocratic rule. 32 years. They walked up in there and they was like, hey, you, Mobutu Sese Seko, I'm just going to call you Seko because your name's too long. It's time for you to leave. And he was like, what do you mean? I'm, I'm the ruler of this country. It's been, I've been the ruler for 32 years. You can't get rid of me. And he was just like, please don't make me repeat what I just said. Please leave. And he was like, all right, fair enough. And he left. Nah, but they like they fought a war. So it wasn't just, it wasn't that easy. They fought a war. But that wraps up this day in history. You know. And if you enjoyed that video at all, please um, hit the like button and then do that thing they call subscribing. Because then that means like you, you, you enjoy me and you want me to continue, I guess. Please, please, please subscribe. <laughs> but anyways, that wraps it up this day in history. If you enjoyed the video, like, subscribe. And uh, I'll see you next time.